Hello my friends, welcome to my new video. In this video we will use this cool power supply to power, of course, this ESP32 board. And we will power this board through the 5V pin, through the 3.3V pin, through the USB port and through the battery connector. On board we will change brightness, CPU speed and through the process we will monitor how those settings affect this test sketch and overall power consumption yes i forgot to said we will also put this board in a deep sleep and light sleep so stay tuned it will be fun lately everyone wants to send me something in exchange for a video i don't know why maybe it's it is because i'm good looking or maybe it is because this channel just hit 100k subscribers Yes, just a few days ago we reached this huge milestone. Thank you all for your support, thanks to everyone who watched my video, everyone who supported my work through Patreon, YouTube membership uh, or uh, coffee. Thanks to everyone who clicked that subscribe button and thanks to those who will click it today. I never believed this would happen, but here it is. I usually turn down offers like these, but sometimes I, ju I just can't resist. When the product looks good and it has screen, I can't help myself. I simply love screens. And <laughs> this user interface looks like something I would make. This is the Fnursi DPS 150, a small programmable beautiful desktop power supply finally something i can put in my backpack and take to my family trip there is another reason why i accepted this product uh, because i've been using fnursy product for over the year now and i use it practically every week and it works flawlessly but the main reason is because i wanted this okay enough talking let's power this board using this. Here we have 3.3 volts rail and ground and here we have 5 volts rail. So now we are powering this board with 5 volts. Here I have output on and off button. Let's see how our settings affects the power consumptions. So we are running this board at max speed 240 and we have 26 frames per second we are running this animation which contains of 70 uh, frames it looks very good when i press this button i can change brightness of the screen brightness of course will not affect frames per second but it will affect power consumption if i increase it more it will increase power consumption now board is consuming 100 milliamps at max brightness which is 255 this board consumes a lot 136 milliamps at the zero brightness it consumes 64 i will return it to 110 that is value i use most often and if i press this button i will decrease cpu speed so now we have 26 frames per second if i press cpu speed will be 160 megahertz and i lose one frames per second my power consumptions decrease it a bit if i decrease cpu speed more 80 now I have 15 frames per second. You can notice that this animation is much slower, but we are below, we are at 60 milliamps. And I can go further and uh, choose 40. Now I have six or seven frames per second. My power consumption is 46 milliamps. And I can go even further. Now I have one frame per second. My board is running at 10 
10 megahertz. Let's say that this brightness and this speed 160 is, it can be optimal for power consumption if you're powering this with battery. Now we have to push buttons and for 10 seconds this board will go to light, to light sleep and in light sleep it will consume 6 milliamp, 6 milliamps. And here we have deep sleep. In deep sleep it will consume 3 or 4. Some boards consumes less than 1 milliamps in deep sleep. This board have some some external uh, components like a battery charger, IC or I don't know, PSRAM. I'm not sure why is that so, but this board will use 3 milliamps. There are some LEDs underneath and but as I said some boards will will consume very little. And now let's try to power this board using 3 volt rail. And powering with 3 volt rail. I can set voltage or and uh, current using this, but I can also memorize settings I mostly use. For example, now I can use 3.3 and 0.3 amps, or this is my setting for 12 volts. So there is six different settings, and here is my setting for 3.3. So I will power this board with 3.3. I will turn on. And now we have practically same value, but there is something weird which is happening because if I try to go lower than 80 megahertz program crashes. I don't know why, maybe because I should use some capacitors. So don't power this board on 3.3 volts directly if you if you're planning to use these uh, low uh, CPU speeds. Now let's see how board behave when it's powered with battery connector on USB. So on a max speed and 110 brightness, board consume 82 milliamps. Now let's connect it to battery connector. I will choose my four volt mode. So value is same. That was expected. I think there is also same situation if we power this board using USB. I made this USB cable adapter. And value is practically same. Maybe one or two milliamps higher. I don't know why is that. And here we have a my weather station example. I'm using same board, but difference is that this board is uh, connected to my Wi-Fi to fetch this time and weather data, and we can see that board usually use 98 milliamps and when it reach for data that numbers go higher but it is very hard to predict how much uh, wi-fi enable sketch will use because it depends what are you doing and how often and which data you are fetching overall very nice and good looking device in this metal and aluminium case. Nice interface.
I like it a lot. And it can be powered with DC adapter, 5 to 32 volts, or I'm powering with my laptop charger or phone charger if you have better for phone charger for example 100 or 100 watts you can power it with it so it gives max uh, 150 watts but i will not came near that value because i will use this for for projects I showed you, I also like this screen that can be tilted. Overall, very nice. Thank you for your time. This is a longer video, but I hope it was interesting to you. If you like this product, you can you can find link in description. Have a nice day. I will see you very soon. Bye.